Muy bien, ¿y tú qué tal? Muy bien, gracias a Dios. Aquí, mira, llegando. Eh, yo igual que la lluvia me traía corriendo ahorita también. <risa> sí. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Cómo te ha ido? Mm, por acá bien, tranquilo, probando la cámara. Sabe que está. Sí. O sea, me estaba sirviendo ya. Ya vamos a entrar con todo ahorita. Me sí. Veo. sí, ya tenemos a la teacher por ahí, ya nos está con Sí, ya veo que están ingresando varios. ¿vale? <risa> Bueno, bro, sí. ya, ya, ya abro el, 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 en un momento abro el, el video. Ok. Ya. ¿Cómo te ha ido, Carlos, el trabajo? De momento todo bien, tranquilo. ¿Sin novedades? Sí, hasta el momento sin novedades. Ay, bueno. ¿Y vos qué tal? Bien, aquí. También tranquilo, gracias a Dios. Siempre pues trabajando y sobreviviendo. Gracias a Dios que, que estamos bien. Qué bueno, a me alegro. De, a pesar de tanta mala noticia de la tele, enfermedades, accidentes, etc. Pero bueno, gracias a Dios que nos tiene con bien. Sí, es cierto. Sí. Ay, Judith. Blanca. Ay. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. This is Carlos Alfredo. This, this, así lo tengo yo. Allá, a la, a la izquierda. Estamos listos ya para una nueva clase. Así es, estamos listos. Dios, Dios nos dé inteligencia, sabiduría para aprender rápido. Hello, hello. Sí, vamos a aprender. Ay, claro, sí van a aprender qué les pasa. Ay. Nice to see you, teacher. Nice to see you too. How are you, Galileo? I'm tired, but... But here, I'm... huh? Yeah. Excellent, very good, very nice. Thank you. Hi, Carlos Alfredo, how are you? Your mic, thank you. Sorry. Hi, I'm fine. Okay. Very good, you're yeah. fine. That's nice, very good. Judith, hello, Blanca, good evening. Hello. How are you, ladies? Everything okay? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Blanquita, very good. Dinora, hello. Carlos Antonio and Luis Alfonso. Hi, Luis. How are you? Fine, how are you today, Luis? I don't Excellent, very good. Luis, my name is Jessica Cerritos, okay? So I'm your teacher for these four, okay? Thank you. Very good. Can you hear me okay, Luis? Me escucha bien? Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. All right, guys. So yesterday, uh, well, we have one more minute. So we're going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Dinora is here. Hi, Dinora. She's not sleeping. Sure. Galileo. <laughs> I'm here. You're here. Very good. You have to be, Dinona. Okay. You have no choice. Yeah. All right. Very good. Or, or you're going to get in trouble with your boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's terrible. Or, Jose Galileo, you're going to get in trouble with Dinona. Either one. All right. Either way. It may be. Maybe. It's a right? possibility. Yes, of course. It's always a possibility. Very good. Okay, guys. So thank you for joining class today. This is the second class. Okay. So Luis Alfonso, ayer no se logró conectar, ¿verdad? Teacher, eh, lo único que estuve en otro salón. No le creo, Luis. Sí, sí porque <laughs> me dieron un link, un link malo. No le creo. Y, y, y eh, bueno, me dijeron que me quedara en esa clase. 
Okay. Ayer. Ok. Y que hoy me iban a mandar este link. El para correcto. El, el correcto. Entonces me imagino que, que este es el correcto, ¿no? Así es. Ojalá sí, que me tenga usted. En, aquí en lo la, tengo, Luis. Lista. Ya lo encontré. Oh, ok. Sí, very Luis, good. aquí sí. está. Very good. Hoy sí está en el lugar que tiene que estar. Oye. Muy bien. Okay, a ver, bien. Luis, eh, solo preguntarle. ¿No es la, el primer módulo que hace con nosotros? Independientemente del maestro, o ya, ya realizó el primero? El, el... el anterior ya lo hizo. Ah, ok, perfecto. All right, sí, very good. Sí. Uno, sí. Le preguntaba por la dinámica de la plataforma y eso, pero ya la conoce, ¿verdad? Así es que no hay ningún ya, ya, problema. Sí. Very good, excellent, no. thank you. All right, guys, so I see we have Edwin Valmore and Luis Manuel also. We have two Luises, Luis Alfonso and Luis Manuel. So that's very good. And then we have Jose, and a, a Jose Eduardo and Jose Galileo. All right, that's okay. But Galileo, I call him Galileo. All right. So that's very good, guys. So yesterday, eh, we were talking about simple present, okay? We were talking about simple present um, affirmative sentences, all right? Reviewing negative sentences and reviewing questions, okay? A ver, Blanquita, nosotros eh, iniciamos siempre, o conmigo siempre iniciamos como haciendo un repaso breve de lo que se vio la noche anterior o la clase anterior, ¿verdad? Solo para refrescar, recordar y ponernos todos en sintonía por si alguien no estuvo en la conferencia anterior. A ver, Blanca, cuando hablamos del simple present, we have two auxiliaries, Blanquita. ¿Cuáles son los two auxiliaries that we use in simple present? El do y el dos. Excellent, Blanca. Very good. Do and does. All right. Very good. Do and does. Excellent. Let's see. Carlos Antonio. When, for which says Carlitos, we use do and does for affirmative, for negative, or for question? Use do hmm? in the we, they, you, and I. Okay, very good, yes. He does yeah. in he, she, it. Okay, excellent, very good, yes. We use do for are you, we, they. Now, for affirmative sentences, Carlos, for negative sentences, or for question? Is it do? When are we going to use it? For positive, negative, or questions, Carlos? Do you remember Carlos Antonio? No? Okay, that's okay. Judith, I know Judith remembers. Very good. So Judith, when do we use do? For negative, for affirmative, or for questions? Uh, at, at, at the beginning? Uh -huh. The beginning is for questions. Okay. Yeah, for questions. All right, very good. And very good. And when we want to make a negative, Carlos Alfredo, when we want to make a negative sentence, which auxiliary or like how do we use the auxiliary negative? In, in negative sentence, we use uh, doesn't and don't. Doesn't and don't. Very good, Carlos. Now, Carlos Alfredo, we use don't for which subject? For? Uh, Done for I, we, and they. And you. And you. All right, you. and you. That's very good. Well. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. And Luis Alfonso, when do we use uh, Dustin? For which subjects, Luis? For I, for we, for he, for what? Which one? Repeat, please. Yes, yes, uh, Luis. When we use the auxiliary doesn't, para qué personas, para qué sujetos o pronombres usamos el doesn't? When do we use doesn't? Eh, su micrófono, Luis. I'm sorry, your microphone. I, he, uh, she. Yeah, for he, for she, and for it. All right, very good, Luis, excellent, yes, very good. For he, for she, and it only, all right? Excellent, very good. Uh, okay, I see that we also have Norma, hi, Norma. We have Ana Beatriz, hello, and we have Ana Solis, and Jose Eduardo, and William. Welcome, guys, to the class. Okay, 
Vamos a tomar la asistencia que corresponde al principio de la clase. All right. Siempre recuerde tener su cámara encendida el mayor tiempo posible. Please, all right. Luego de tomar la asistencia, volvemos a, o continuamos con el repaso, all right. Y luego, obviamente, ejercicios y el tema que nos corresponde de la noche. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Right. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Thank you, Beatriz. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Thank you. Uh, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandro. Dinora Alejandro, si no es una es otra. I'm sorry, Dinora. Dinora Alejandro Alfaro Corea. Present. Thank you. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present. Thank you. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. Okay. Eh, Gonzalo Valle Valle. What happened to Gonzalo? José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. José Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Thank you. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Norma Lizeth Quintana Mancia. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Okay. Eh, William Mauricio Gonzalez Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enriquez. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, yes. Thank you, William. Ada Karina Cruz Garcia and Ana Karim Solis Lopez. Present teacher. And thank you, Ana. Thank you. Very good. Welcome to class. All right. Very good, guys. So let's continue here. So remember that when we talk about simple present, eh, we use two auxiliaries, do and does. Do is for I, you, we, they, and does is for he, she, it only. All right. Now, and we use don't for negative sentences for I, you, we, they, and we use doesn't for he, she, it. Okay, so we have to remember that for negative sentences. When we talk about questions, all right, we have to use do or does, pero bien decía Judith, al inicio de mi oración, al inicio de mi pregunta, all right? So do, I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it, all right? Ahora, ¿qué sucede en las oraciones afirmativas, William, cuando hablamos de terceras personas singulares? He, she, it. What happened? ¿Qué sucede? Mm -hmm. ¿Se le agrega das? Sí. Excuse me. ¿Se le agrega das a qué, William? Um, o sea, al, al sujeto o a la oración. ¿En afirmativo, William? En afirmativo, es correcto. Regáleme un ejemplo. Um, venga, perdón, quiero ver. Ay, ay, no sé, teacher. Okay, no se preocupe. No sé, a ver, no la, la tenía, okay. pero. <ríe> se le That's okay, that happens. A ver, recordemos, William, y eso es obviamente no solo para William, es para todos el recordatorio. Cuando hablamos de oraciones afirmativas en presente simple, no, no lleva, es Exacto. correcto. Exacto, muy bien. Yo sé, yo sé, muy bien. No, that's okay. No llevamos auxiliar, solo vamos a llevar el verbo, pero algo le sucede a ese verbo, all right? Something happens to that verb, okay? ¿Qué le pasa yeah. a ese verbo? Alguien que me ayude. ¿Qué se, le, le Ajá. se le agrega s, se le agrega s o se le agrega is, i, s. Yeah, very good, William. Excelente. Excelente, William. Aplicando de las reglas. Very good, yes. Okay. Bueno, Super. Eh. All right, very good. Okay, so then we have simple, entonces decimos, for simple present affirmative sentences, no auxiliary, 
all right? For nobody, ni for I, ni for you, we, they, nobody, okay? But we need to add S or ES or IES to the verb. Y bien, decía William, dependiendo de qué termina el verbo. A ver, Galileo, regálenos, si yo voy a escribir el verbo, por ejemplo, I say, I go to the beach every weekend, but I also say, El Ramirez goes to the beach every weekend, all right? So, what, when, Galileo, when do I need to change or to add ES to the verb? When, when they finish in what consonant or vowel? Okay. Uh, when we use or... or add es to the verb is because at the end of the verb is uh, was, for example. Cuando el verbo termina en chs. What happened in Galileo? Why did you switch? Okay, that continue, that's okay. Este... Cuando el verbo termina en CH, por ejemplo, ¿Sí? se le agrega la, el, las letras S. Very good. Ok, very good. Another one. ¿Quién se acuerda de otra terminación? CH dijo Galileo. Another one. Teacher. Yes, Ana. Igual que cuando termina en la consonante I, la Y, se cambia por, este, por la I latina, ¿verdad? Exacto. Se pone I yes. IES, right? IES, uh -huh. very good. Solo que, very good, Ana. Solo que, yes. Ajá, continúe, William, diga. Que solo, solo se aplica cuando eh, va después de una consonante. Exacto, very good, sí, exactamente. ¿verdad? Entonces, ese recibe el cambio del IES cuando antes de la Y vaya una consonante, porque si va una vocal no pasa nada. Okay, so Ajá, correcto. Oh, por, por, Ajá. por ejemplo, study. Yes. Se dice his, o se puede decir study, studies. Studies, very good, yes, Ajá. very good, studies. En ese caso sí, vamos a eliminar la Y correcto. y ponemos I, E, S, porque antes de la caso, Y. Uh -huh. En el caso de plates. Ahí, Ahí no, no se le agrega la S. Exacto, porque antes de la Y va una vocal. Very good, Ana. Thank sí. you. Very okay. good. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Hi, Alex. Good evening. Your microphone, Alex, is mute. mute. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. That's good okay, evening. Alex. Good evening, Alex. How are you? Good. It's, your name very is good. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodriguez, right? Ex exactly. Excellent. Very good. Nice to meet you, Alex. My name is Jessica, okay? Jessica Cerritos. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining class today. Very good. Okay. So let's continue here, guys. Um, a ver, entonces Galileo nos recordaba que al verbo le agregó ES si termina en CH. ¿En qué otro momento voy a agregar ES nada más? Alguien que me diga otra terminación sin ver sus notas, of course. SH. <laughs> SH, very good. SH, CH, SH, another one. Me falta ahí. No termina en X. Oh, very good. Oh, like go, do, ¿verdad? Termina en O, another one. Bueno, termina en X. In X, yes, fix, fixes. Very good. Y me falta una. ¿Qué doble? Es, es. Es, es. Very good. Yes. Like kiss. Kisses. All right. Very good. Nice. Okay. So we are going to add ES to the verb when we, when they finish in O, in X, in CH, SH, and double S. All right. Si no termina en ninguna de esas consonantes, sencillamente le agrego S. Y luego retomamos la regla que nos recordaba Ana, que es la Y puesta antes de una vocal, o perdón, la Y después de una vocal de una consonante, entonces le agregamos IES al verbo, ¿all right? Tercera persona singular, ¿all right? So, for Alex, que no estuvo anoche con nosotros, ni Norma, y Luis sí, pero estuvo en otro salón, eh, Eh, estamos recordando el uso del presente simple. All right. That's what we're talking about tonight. All right. And then we're going to go on 
with other um, things here. Do you guys have any questions about this? Anybody, do you have any questions? Or oh, we are okay. We understand simple present so far. No questions? Perfect. Yeah, no, no question. Excellent, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you guys here. Vamos a ir al libro ahorita. Esto lo hicimos ayer. Acuérdense que hicimos activities that we do every day in our jobs, in the company, in the work. All right, so for example, you say I check my mail, call clients, read a weekly report, attend a meeting, organize meetings. No van a decir la pronunciación es organize, ¿verdad? Attend, no es attend, it's attend a meeting, all right? So we have those here. Here, then we finish that, that page and we need to do this one, all right? It says, number four, it says, add two activities you do on, regular on a regular Monday. Here, for example, number one, Edwin uh, Balmore, can you read number one for me? On Mondays, I check my email. Perfect. On Mondays, I check my emails. Jose Eduardo, number two. Y va a leer, on Mondays, I, y lo que corresponde en el número dos. Jose Eduardo. Teacher, se, se me está yendo el inter, teacher. Vaya, Tengo problemas pero, con el inter. Pero ahorita pero le escucho bien, José Eduardo. Ahorita. Lea on Mondays <ríe> hay el número dos. A ver. <ríe> sí, sí. Pero no me lo puedo decir. Como... No le entendí bien lo que me estaba preguntando. A ver, teacher. solo necesito que me lea. On Mondays hay lo que está en azul. Aquí se lo voy a subrayar. Lo que está arriba. Y luego... Continúe con el número dos aquí, Eduardo. No. Ok, that's ok, Eduardo. Don't worry about no, it. Teacher, Alex, no. that's ok, that's ok. No se preocupe. Alex, can you read on Mondays and num day number two, Alex, please? On Monday, I type a letter. Excellent, very good. On Mondays, I type a letter. Thank you. All right, William, can you read on Mondays, I and number three? On Monday, I write a report. A report. Excellent, William. Very good. On Mondays, I write a report. Very good. Anna, eh, on Mondays, I, and number four, Anna, please. Anna, Anna, you're not around? Excuse me. Okay. That's okay, Anna. That's okay. On Mondays, I, y la número cuatro, Anita. La número cuatro, uh -huh. y donde dice attend a mail. Excellent, yes, very good. Uh -huh. So on Mondays, eh, I. 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 No lo he entendido muy bien, licenciada. Ok, no se preocupe. Si se fija, eh, Ana, ¿puede ver mi pantalla? Sí, 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 ahorita la estoy viendo ya. Sí, entonces arriba en azul dice on Mondays I. Entonces Ajá. hay que leer esa oración on Mondays I y luego el número 4. Ah, ok. Ajá. On Mondays I are... attend a meeting. Excellent, very good, Ana. On Mondays I attend a meeting, right? Yes, Attend. very good, Attend. very good, thank you, excellent. Uh, Judith, no, that's okay. Judith, can you do number five? I'm sorry, teacher. That's okay. Uh, can you repeat, uh, uh, I'm working. Oh, you're working right now, I'm sorry. I'm All still right. working. Okay, but don't worry about it. What, 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 what I have to do? <laughs> You have to read number this sentence which says on Monday I and day number five, Judy. Ah, okay. I could grant. On Mondays I, what do you do on Mondays? On Mondays I? Uh, you've seen the, the number five. Yeah, right here, the one that is here. 
Okay. On Mondays, I call client. 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 Very good, Judith. Thank you. On Mondays, I call client. Very good. Blanca, can you do number six, please? On Monday, I did a uh, report. Excellent. Yes, very good. Thank you. Luis Alfonso, on Mondays, I, number seven. On Monday, I visit clients. Perfect. Very good. And Carlos Antonio, number eight. On Monday, I organize the mirrors. Very good. Organize Very good. Galileo, on Mondays, I, la nueve, invéntesela. Ajá, Galileo. On Mondays, on Monday side, uh, organize my team to production area. Ah, okay. On Mondays, I organize my team of production area. Very good. Carlos Alfredo, number 10. Está en tinta invisible. Usted lea, la? On Mondays, I um, read a lot of emails. Okay, perfect. Very good. On Mondays, I read a lot of emails. All right. Si usted tiene el libro impreso, el manual impreso lo puede hacer dentro de, la, de las casillas que no están, la número 9 y la número 10. Si no lo tiene impreso, no se preocupe, lo puede escribir en su página o en su cuaderno donde está escribiendo. Dos actividades que usted realiza on Mondays. Entonces, la, la, la idea es que usted escriba on Mondays, I, y ponga la actividad que hace. Ok, two activities more, all right, that correspond to you. So, escríbalo allí y ya la vamos a compartir ahí un par de alumnos. Vamos a escuchar qué hacen on Mondays, all right? Two activities. All right, let's see. Um, Norma, what do you do on Mondays, Norma? Uh, on Monday, I... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice atender? Atender. Uh -huh. Um, you, you can say on Mondays I help clients or I help customers. Atender proveedores, atender proveedores. Yeah, so on Mondays you help uh, or you receive the um, uh, the people that get your the stuff. All right, so on Mondays you receive people. Suppliers. All right, yeah, the suppliers, yeah. yes. So on Mondays you receive the suppliers. Okay. okay, so you receive or you help the suppliers. Very good, thank you. Uh, let me see here. Um, Alex, on Mondays, what do you do? On Monday, I start work at 7 a.m. o'clock. Okay, very good. And what do you do on Mondays besides the starting work at 7 a.m.? I start work okay. in, my, in the office. Okay, and what is the first activity that you do, Alex? Uh, I have. <laughs> you have many activity, activities. Um, yeah. Um, check the air conditioner air. I see the air conditioning. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Interesting. Thank you. Very good. Uh, let me see. Anna, what is the uh, what do you do on Mondays, Anna? Hello, teacher. 
What do you do on Mondays, Anna? I'm Monday a visit clients. Clean, oh, you on Mondays you visit clients. Very good. Yes. Okay. I, I supervise um supervise a uh, production. Okay, very good. Office. Excellent. Interesting. Very good. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, let's go back here. Carlita, buenas noches, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Gonzalo también entró por ahí. Hi, Gonzalo. All right. Okay, guys, let's continue here. Vuelvo y repito. Si usted no tiene el manual aún impreso, no se preocupe. Eh, lo puede hacer en su cuaderno y si lo tiene ya con usted, pues lo trabaja ahí. All right. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Five, it says complete the sentences below with one activity from the box. Okay, entonces lo tiene que leer, lo tiene que leer acá y luego escoger una de estas actividades. Permítame, solo denme un segundo. Ya, yeah. una de estas actividades y escribirlas en el espacio correspondiente. All right, pero para eso, ¿sabe qué? Vamos a irnos ahorita a los grupos para que lo puedan empezar a trabajar juntos. La idea es que lo lea y lo resuelva con la persona que le tocó trabajar. All right? So I want to hear you speaking, guys. Okay? Voy a hacer los grupos ahorita so you guys can actually go and help each other there. Esto es corto, no se preocupe, lo van a terminar bien rápido. Teacher, ¿cree que puede poner, por favor, la pantalla de nuevo? Ahorita. All right, Luis, ahí está. Ok. Eh, let me one, one moment, please. Ok. Ok. okay. Finished? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Eh, ahí está empezando la grabación. Hello, teacher. Hi, Normita. Hi, José Eduardo. No tenemos Hello, la imagen. No ah, tenemos ahorita. el ejercicio. Ahorita se las comparto. Gracias. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. That's okay. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, Sí, vamos a ver. La número la número dos. Our secretary. Eh, Checking la, la número. No. La secretaria eh, por de organize meetings, then she sent them via email. Via Jim. Maybe. Email. Email. Mm -hmm. Y no es, la, no es la número uno, no. Check, pero no es la número uno. On Monday. Ah, <laughs> es que la dos dice de que la Nuestro dos secret... es que, Ajá. Esta es... No puede oh. chequear mis, mis correos, la secretaria, ¿verdad? Porque los... Ajá. No puede ser la, la uno, pienso yo. Sino okay. que... 
¿Cuál sería para usted, Norma? Porque Arten, dice después, Arten, ella envía, la number envía, four. Eh, por ejemplo, write, write a report. Then she, the, 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 then she uh, sends them via. Via mail. Ah, pues sería I, la number four. <laughs> la number four sería, ¿verdad? No es la three. Mm. Airport. Oh. Escribe, puede ser que ella escribe el, el, el reporte y, y luego lo manda por, por, por correo. Ok. El number three, ¿cuál cree que es? I, I, is, they, <laughs> No number I check in my email. Uh -huh. Twice a day. Uh -huh, yes, Twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Yes, yes, yes. Verdad. Yes. Number four is I have to. I have to attend a meeting every morning. Ajá, la, la number four. At, at eight. Ajá, que attends the meetings. Es, I have to attend some meetings every, every Monday. At every, eight. every every Monday every Monday at nine o'clock. Eight eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight, okay. yes. La 4 la va con la 4, entonces. Local. Uh -huh. Number 5. Sí, en el. ¿Qué dice la, nom la número 5? No. Eh, Cal no, Kenny. Sí. Celia. Celia. Celia de Miriam K. Please in the outreach, out, auditorium. Auditorium, very good. Auditorium. Uh -huh. Entonces las reuniones se llevan a cabo en el auditorio. Oh, okay. Entonces Celia organize. Yes. Meetings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Solo que Norma y José, no se les olvide, como es tercera persona singular, sería Celia organizes. Organizes. Uh, organizes meetings. Ok. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Y las seis, teacher. <risa> y las seis. <risa> las seis están en, en tinta invisible, José. Así es que con Normita, ahí averigüen qué dice no, esa la tienen que hacer entre los dos ¿All right? uh -huh. ok podrían okay. buscar una tercera persona ya sea Claudia o Ricardo o José o pueden decir we o I o you como ustedes quieran ok eh, podemos poner eh, I, I have no, como es I have to I, I call clients I call clients. Yes, I call clients. Very good. Uh, every day. Sure. Yes, very good, Norma. I call clients every day. Perfect. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay. Voy a dejar de compartir. Solo déjeme ir a ver un grupo más. Y terminamos. Y luego... <laughs> Regresamos. ¿Nos, nos quedamos acá o, o no salimos? Sí, ahorita todavía quédense aquí. Ya lo oh, voy okay. a. Ajá. Ok, ok, teacher. Right. Solo déjenme que tenemos un par de compañeros que no se lograron unir. Mm. <risa> Está enfermita, Norma. Sí, teacher. Tiene tos. Sí. 
Pero ya está tomando algo, ¿no? Aún no, es que estoy relaxando, teacher, entonces no, no creo que pueda tomar cualquier cosa. Sí, no, claro. Sí, no, no. Hmm. All right. Solo dejen que hubieron unos compañeros que no lograron entrar a unos, a unos grupos. Entonces les vamos a dar uno o dos minutitos más. Ustedes platiquen aquí, voy a, ir a ayudarles a ellos, ¿ok? Ya regreso. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get, yeah. Norma, ¿cuál dijo Norma la, la última? Ah, Norma, dije. Salió. Me saliste, o él se salió. Él se salió y me dejó solo ahí a mí también. Galileo, ah, pero, teacher, pero no le vayan a decir. Ah. La ticha me dejó solito. No, mentira, yo no fui. No, es que fíjense que en eso que estaba viendo quién se había quedado solo, me llamó José Eduardo y Norma. Entonces me fui al grupo de ellos y por ayudarle a ellos se me olvidó que usted estaba solito. Sorry, Galileo. Pero I'm being no, honest. La ya la hizo. Y Alfredo, usted también la logró hacer. ¿Did you finish? No, es que yo tuve problemas con mi computadora y estoy usando una que, que de hecho se me frisa la imagen. Al rato y no puedo tomar la captura. Ay, no le creo, oh no. Sí, es una reliquia. Ok, yo te dejo el letón esa. Bueno, no se preocupe, igual solo eh, si gusta se lo comparto aquí rapidito, eh, Carlos, para que lo vea. Y um, permítanme, es que hoy tenemos, hay bastantes compañeros con problemas de conexión, creo. Sí, yo creo que sí, no sé a saber por qué está pasando. Nosotros en la compañía tenemos problemas contigo. Eh, los, todo, todo lo, lo, las conexiones de celular y computadora están muy lentas. En serio, mira que le pasé por su trabajo. ¿En serio? Sí, yo dije adiós, cariño. Era detenido. Ya, <risa> yeah. a ver, y la próxima, next no, no, hubiera, no hubiera escrito, pero hemos salido. <laughs> a ver, um, Carlos, esta era la imagen, all right? So, number one, ya tenemos, I call clients every day, I use the company's phone. For number two, our secretary, then she sends them via email, all right? ¿Cuál, cuál puso ahí, Galileo? Type a letter. Our secretary, type a letter or types a letter, Gali? Types. Types a letter, Galileo. Very good. Thank Types you. All letter. right. No, yeah. Number three. I. Okay. What is the meaning of tweet? Twice. Two times. Twice. Alfredo. Very good. That's okay. Eso lo vamos a ver ahora, de hecho. Very good. Ya se me adelantó. Very good. Uh -huh. I write a report okay. twice a day. I write a report twice a day. Ay, qué aburrido. Twice a day, I use my laptop computer. All right. Number four, I have to organize meetings every mm -hmm. Monday mm -hmm. at every Monday. 8 a.m. Okay. okay. Oh, podría ser también I have to call clients every Monday, o podría ser I have to attend a meeting every Monday, I have to visit clients every Monday. Ahí caben muchas, ¿verdad? Posibilidades ahí. Todas están correctas. Very good. En la número cinco dice Celia, the meeting take place in the auditorium. So, yeah. Attend meeting. Attend a meeting. Seguros. Attend a meeting. Sí, or, eso, or, organize. Well, meeting I think it's organizes place. better. Organize. I think it's Celia organizes mm -hmm. meetings. Organizes the meetings the meeting. take place in the auditorium. I think so. I creo que queda mejor esa, Galileo. Okay? Y obviamente organize no, meeting. Organizes, ¿verdad? Organizes. Y obviamente la número 6 está en tinta transparente y ustedes tendrían que hacerla, ¿verdad? William, hi William. Che, me saca mi teléfono, lo siento. No, no se preocupe, no, no, I know that happens, no se preocupe. Vamos a regresar ahorita al grupo eh, principal y vamos a resolver esto, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you guys. All right, guys. Hello, hello. I believe everybody was able to finish, yes? 
Yes. Yes, very good. Yeah, I'm sorry I took, a lo I took longer, pero de repente había unos compañeros que no habían logrado ingresar a sus grupos, entonces les di un poquito más de tiempo para que pudieran hacer the exercises. Ok, so here we have Alex. Usted va con el segundo porque el primero ya está terminado. Number one, it said I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. Alex, number two, our secretary. Our secretary write a report. Okay. Then in the, then in the, she sent them via email. Okay. Our secretary writes a report. Acuérdense de ponerle ese, ese verbo, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de ella, la secretaria, nuestra secretaria. All right. So our secretary writes a report. All right, otra, otra opción, ¿cuál podría ser? Compañeros, anybody else? Maybe her? No. Type a letter? Types a letter, yes, types a letter. También podría ser types. Media vez usted le ponga S al verbo, está perfecta. All right, our secretary types a letter, then she sends them via email. O podría ser, our secretary writes a report, then she sends them via email. All right? Very good. Thank you, guys. Very good. Check, Number check three. Check my email. Our secretary. Check mm -hmm. my, my email now. No, it doesn't make much sense, William, porque revisa mis correos y luego lo vi. Could be. I mean, it could be a possibility. All right? Could be. Teacher, and we have organized Miren. Our teacher organizes meetings. Organizes. Okay, then she sends them via email. All right. Yeah, okay, podríamos. Okay. What about number three? I. I what, guys? Any choices for I? Check my mail. Check my, I check I, my mail. I check my mail. Yes, I check my mail twice a day. All right, twice. Twice a day, I use my laptop computer. Number four, I have to organize meetings. Meeting. Okay. reports. Excellent. Aquí caben muchas posibilidades. De hecho, I have to check my email every Monday. I have to read a report every Monday. I have to type a letter every Monday. I have to visit clients, attend a meeting, call. Creo que todas podría ser una posibilidad for that one. All right? So that's okay. What about number Five, Celia. Celia organize meeting. Organizes meeting. Organizes. Yes, very good. Okay, esa S tiene que sonar, ¿verdad? Organizes meetings. O si puso usted attend, está bien, pero póngale attends a meeting. All right? All right, very good. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Very good. Uh, what about number six? Esta tenían que hacerlo ustedes en su grupo. Give me some examples of number six, guys. Any examples for number six? I read, uh, I read a report every day. I read a report every day. Perfect. Yes, very good. Another one? Uh, this show. Uh, when Monday mornings, I uh, check my emails and call clients. And call clients, very good. A esa no la voy a poner ese, eh, Carlita, ¿verdad? And call clients, very good. Clients. <clears throat> clients, very good. Thank you, Carla, very good. Any other possibilities, guys, for number six? Alfredo visits clients every day through 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, perfect, very good. Yes, thank you. Any other choices, guys? Any other options for that one? I am teacher. teacher. Yes, Luis, thank you, tell me. I have a meeting with the board of directors. Company. Oh my goodness, you have a meeting with the board of directors. Very good, Luis, thank you, perfect, nice, thank you. Someone else? Blanca, what, you, uh, what about number six? Blanca, ¿qué pusieron con su grupo? Lo que pusimos es on Monday, uh, on Monday morning, I check my email and call player. Ah, okay, very good, perfect, yeah. thank you. Okay, very good. Elmer, what about six? Elmer, what do you have for number six? Um, I go to the movie theater with my friends. Oh, 
my goodness. Very good. Lucky you. You go to the movie theaters with your friends. Perfect. Very good. One more. One more. The one that give me your um, option. Maybe Ana or Luis Manuel or Carlos, Alfredo or Norma. Anybody? Any other choice for number six? What about your options? I have to attend a meeting on Monday at four. All right. So you have to attend a meeting on Monday at four. Thank you. All right, perfect. Let's see, let's continue guys here. We're gonna go to page um, 11, all right? So here we routines and everyday situations okay so here we have sonia and we have matt okay so it says listen to your teacher read the conversation then practice with a partner it says what does dominique do well she's a secretary oh i see what does she do every day exactly oh i see your point well she types reports and sends emails every day she is a hard-working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay. Let me see. Luis, please be Matt. And Judith, can you be Sonia, please? Luis uh, Martinez, can you please be um, Matt? Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. Uh, what does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see you so well. She type report and send emails every day. She is a hard working woman. Abs absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Judith. Perfect, very good. I need two more, two more to read uh, Matt and Sonia. Who's gonna read Matt and who's gonna read Sonia? Thank you, Luis, Dinora. <laughs> okay, and Dinora, you can read the other one. Dinora, you're gonna be Matt. Okay. All right. Carlita, usted me dijo que usted? Or alguien me dijo yo, teacher. I'm a teacher. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, you can read it. Thank you. So, Dinora, you're Sonia. I... Uh -huh. Okay, and I Matt. Yes, you're Matt. Yes, thank you. Okay, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Um, I see you, your point where report, report she type, report and send email every day. She's a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is a first person to arrive in, in the office. Excellent. Thank you. Good, good, good. All right. Two more. Two more, please. One Sonia and one Matt. Me, teacher. Thank you, Please. Edwin, and thank you, Galileo. All right, so Edwin, you are Sonia, and Galileo, you're Matt. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every, every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay. So here what you see, this is very important. Here we say types. All right, ¿por qué tenemos types aquí? Porque tenemos she antes, all right? She types, all right? So she types a, a report, sends emails, all right? Igual ponemos 
este porque estamos hablando de tercera persona singular. So we say types a report, send emails. All right. Uh, a ver, la pronunciación de esta es reports. It's not report, it's reports. Okay. This one, absolutely. This one right here, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. And then the, da, da, da. I creo que solo son esas que vi por ahí. A ver, um, alguna otra pronunciación o vocabulario de esa conversación or we are okay with that one, guys? Do we have any questions about this one? No, is, everything okay? Yes. Is hard, hard, hard working? Uh -huh. She's a hard working woman. Es una mujer muy trabajadora. Hard working. Hard working. Uh -huh. uh, Very I'm good. Sorry. Yep. Any other guys? No? Okay, very good. Okay, so here, this is like, again, a uh, conversation using simple present. Vamos a pasar este de aquí. Eso lo vamos a hacer ahorita. It says number three, select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences. Number one, Gonzalo. Vamos a decir she type or she types reports, Gonzalo. She types reports. Excellent, Gonzalo. Very good. She types reports. All right. Very good. Norma, what about number two? Do she arrive late or does she arrive late? Uh, does. Excellent. Yes. Late. Very good. Does she arrive late? Very good. Uh, let me see. Luis Manuel, we're going to say, does she arrive early? Or that she arrives early. I think is that she arrives early. With S, Luis Manuel, or with no S? S, teacher. Seguro, Luis Manuel? Is the number three? Yes, please, number three. That she arrives early. Uh, uh, I think that's, uh, no, no, uh, that's she arrived. Yeah, that she arrive. Acordémonos, Luis Manuel, que cuando íbamos el auxiliar, el verbo regresa a su forma base. ¿Verdad? Does she arrive? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. Yes. That's okay. Perfect. Thank you, Luis Manuel. Very good. Does she arrive early? All right. Cuando vemos un auxiliar dentro de la pregunta, entonces recordamos que el verbo regresa a su forma base, ya no necesita cambio o no lleva ninguna inflexión, en este caso ya no lleva esto. Right. Arrive early, ok? Excellent, very good. Um, do you have any questions about this, guys? Any questions about this or no? We're ok. We're ok? Yeah? Ok, perfect. Let's continue here then, number 12. Singular present for third person, a uh, simple present for third person, singular, simple present for third person, plural, all right? So here we have, he checks, Dominique goes, it likes, all right? Es lo que hemos estado viendo desde ayer, esto, ¿verdad? Que cuando hablamos de terceras personas singulares, o sea, he, she, it, eh, los verbos van a llevar un cambio, una inflexión. En este caso sería S, E, S, or I, E, S. When we talk about simple present for third person, plural, all right? So we say they, my coworkers, the employees, ya no necesita S. Estamos hablando de plurales, okay? So they check, my coworkers go, the employees like, all right? Here we have simple present, yes, no questions for third person, singular and plural. Si es lo que veníamos repasando hoy temprano, el do y el does. El does, we're going to use it for he, she, and it. And do for we, you, they. Y el verbo, si se fija, queda igual para todos los, los nombres o los sujetos o los pronombres. Queda igual porque llevamos un auxiliar acá. Entonces, el auxiliar evita ponerle alguna extra al verbo, ¿ok? Entonces, es importante el auxiliar que este vaya de acuerdo al sujeto que estamos usando, ¿all right? 
Do you have any questions about this, guys? No questions, well, vamos bien? Well, a question, teacher. Yes, please. What's your question? Uh, does, mm, no se usa en ese caso con it. Como no, ahí les faltó a ellos, pero sí ah. se ocupa. Mm -hmm. Siempre es con las okay. terceras personas singulares. En ese caso would be he, she, it. All right? Okay. All right, igual que abajo no pusieron el I, pero sí también uh -huh. va. The I, we, you, they. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Excellent. Let's see. Vamos a hacer este otro acá. Este, esto, aquí está acá. Igual no nos vamos a ir a ningún lado. Háganlo acá en el grupo ahorita. All right. Son estos verbos los que van a usar. El go dice times three. Quiere decir que lo van a usar tres veces. Ok, so do it right now. Ahí donde está usted. Y luego les doy un par de minutitos. Lo revisamos. Tomamos la segunda asistencia y vemos el tema que ya nos toca de las time expressions, ¿ok? So, do that right now. Se lo voy a dejar compartida, voy a dejar compartida la pantalla. You don't have it. All right, let's see, guys. Let's see if we have finished it already. It says, from Monday to Friday, Dominique. Uh-huh. What happens to Dominique? Wake, Wake up. up. Wake up. Wakes up. Wakes, wakes, up. Esa wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes. She goes. goes thank you. Yes, very good. She goes to work, and when she gets there, 
she checks checks very good she checks her email and call calls, call. calls and calls all the clients her daily list lisa and claudia work work very good work. esa no lleva s verdad esa no porque estamos hablando de two people lisa and claudia lisa and claudia work with dominique they go to have yes they go to have lunch together they go to have lunch together at 4 p.m dominique goes very good goes home okay yes guys you understand yeah all right very good okay voy a dejar de compartir voy a tomar la segunda asistencia y empezamos con time expressions for regular activities okay let me see here alex humberto saldaña rodriguez i'm here teacher thank you ana beatriz pineda olmedo present portillo bautista Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Ok. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez, thank you. Uh, Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. Excellent. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Luis Manuel Muñoz. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma Lizer Quintana Mancia. All right, Norma, ahí está. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. William Mauricio González Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enriquez. Ada Karina Cruz Garcia and Ana Karin Solis Lopez. Yes, I am, teacher. Thank you. All right, guys, very good. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about time expressions, okay? En el nivel uno, independientemente estuvieron conmigo o no, yo sé que vieron time expressions or prepositions of time como in, on, at. Okay? So remember that in, we use it for months in June, in July, specific years in 1981, in 2004, in 2020, all right, in, in summer, in spring, in the morning, in the afternoon. Then we used also on, and then you say, for example, on Monday for days of the week, all right, on December 4th, on date, okay. Then we have at, all right, so we say, for example, when we talk about a specific time, you have a class at 8 o'clock. You finish your classes at 10 p.m. Uh, when we talk about night, recuerde que el night no decimos in the night, decimos at night. Entonces, eso lo vimos en el módulo 1. All right. Hoy vamos a ver siempre like relacionado con tiempo, pero no, no le llamamos prepositions of time, sino que time expressions. Okay. A ver, solo déjenme eh, ponerles acá la presentación que quiero que usemos ahorita. Just give me a second, guys. Give me one second. I just need to put this here. Okay. All right, vamos a ver esto aquí. Okay. 
So we're going to talk about time expressions. Vamos a, le voy a poner dos presentaciones, pero al final es como the same information, okay? So when we talk about time expressions, guys, we have things like eh, once. All right, ya le voy a explicar qué quiere decir. Las leo. Once, twice, three times, four times, okay? Ahora yo puedo decir once a day. Once a week, once a month, or once a year. De igual forma, yo puedo decir twice a day, twice a week, twice a month, twice a year. Or I can say three times a day, three times a week, three times a month, or three times a year. Y luego... Pues podría, podría decir four times y lo, vuelvo a repetir lo mismo. A day, a week, a month, and a year. ¿Qué quiere decir once? Once is one time. All right? Once. That's the pronunciation. No es once, ¿verdad? Es once. Once a day. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, I have a class with you. Once a day. Porque solo nos vemos una vez en el día, en este caso en la noche, pero we, saw, we see each other once a day. All right? Una vez, once. Twice is two times. ¿Ok? En lugar de decir, por decirle algo, yo, I don't know, I go to the gym two times a week. Hay una palabra que es twice, que quiere decir dos veces. So I say, I go to the gym. Twice a week. All right. Luego tenemos three times, que serían tres veces. No es tres tiempo, ¿verdad? Times ahí lo traducimos como veces. Four times, dependiendo cuántas veces usted realiza X actividad. Ok. So you say once. Acuérdese que once is one time. Twice is two times. All right. Y luego three times, four times. Y esa es la forma en que lo va a decir. Primero la palabra en este caso, or twice. A, y luego ya sea día, semana, mes o año. Usted va por decirle algo. Usted viaja a Estados Unidos una vez al año. Usted dice, I travel to United States once a year. Si va dos veces, entonces dice, I travel to United States twice a year. All right? O si usted, no sé, usted va, juega algún deporte, practica algún deporte una vez a la semana, you say, I practice a sport once a week. All right? So, aquí vamos a, a usar estas palabras. Si se fija aquí, dice use once or twice, no va a decir one time, porque ya existe una palabra que se reduce y es once. Usted no dice, I go to the gym one time. No, you say, I go to the gym once a week. All right, por eso ya existe esa palabra que reemplaza el one time. Once or twice. Luego tenemos three times. Este es y four times, ¿ok? Si se fija acá, dice, we go to the theater once a week. All right. Peter falls. Uh, Peter plays football five times a month. ¿Ok? De hecho, sí existe una palabra para reemplazar el three times y es thrice. No se ocupa tanto como el once y el twice, pero existe y es thrice. Pero si usted se lo olvida, no se preocupe, diga three times. Del tres para allá podemos usar three times, four times, ten times, twenty times. Las veces que usted realice algo. ¿Ok? Pero el, el, la, una vez o dos veces si es once y twice. ¿Ok? Have, yes, what's your question? Uh, if I, uh, if correctly to say uh, one more time or once more? Uh, you can actually say both. You can say one more time or you can say once more. Yeah, you can, you can actually it, use both. It means the same. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank yeah. you. If the, the thing is that in that case, it's like if you're saying like, like if for example, if you say one more time, it's like una vez más. So it's like different to say once a week. Es el significado cambia un poquito. La otra es como una vez más cometí el error. All right? 
so that the meaning is a little bit different, Judy. All right, or once more, I made the same mistake. All right, so it's a little bit different than saying I go to the theater once a week, kind of. All right, okay. so the meaning is a little bit different, but yes, you in that context that you're mentioning it, you can say both, either or. All Thank right. You. Thank you. All right, very good. Ahora, ¿a dónde estoy poniendo de tiempo? In the beginning of my sentence, at the beginning of my sentence, or at the end of the sentence, guys? At the, the, end. at the end, very good. At the end of the sentence, okay? Entonces, vamos a tomar el once a week y lo voy a colocar al final de mi oración. O voy a decir four times a month y lo voy a colocar al final de mi oración. I teach classes once um, five times a week, all right? I teach classes five times a week. And five times a week lo coloco al final de mi oración, okay? Luego tenemos otras time expressions que lo podemos usar con every, okay? Every evening. You have classes every evening, all right? Every morning, every night, every day, every weekend. Every Saturday, every Monday, every week, every year. All right? So when you say Mary cooks every day, ¿cuántas veces cocina María entonces? Yo digo Mary cooks every day. A la semana, ¿cuántas veces? Es todos los días. Todos los días. Seven, so, day. seven, seven days. days. Seven days, that's right. You have classes every week. I, I don't, mean, I don't every come day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yeah. you, know, you have classes every day, meaning from Monday through Friday, not Saturday, not Sunday, but you have classes every day in a week. All right? Or you say, I play, si yo digo, I play basketball every Sunday. Entonces, I play basketball todos los domingos. All right? So every Sunday I play basketball or tennis or soccer or whatever, okay? He won these time expressions for every final final, all right? Mary cooks every day. So bien raro si usted dice every day Mary cooks, all right? So it's at the end of your sentence. Mary cooks every day, okay? Yes? ¿Ya habían escuchado las palabras once, twice anteriormente? ¿Ya, ¿Ya habían escuchado esas palabras? Once and twice, las primeras dos que vimos aquí. Yes, yes, me, no. Yeah. Ok, for some people yes, some know, people teacher. no. Ok, very good. Acordémonos de la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es once y es twice. Ok, very good. Ok, voy a dejar de compartir esto ahorita. Quiero que piensen en... Una actividad que usted realice once a la semana, dejémoslo, ¿verdad? Porque lo hablamos del mes, es como más a week. We wanna think, I want you to think of and write it down on your notebook. Think one activity that you do once a week, another activity that you do twice a week. All right, so for example, in my case, I will say, I, I don't know. I, 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 I um, supervise a class once, <laughs> well, I'm going to use laughing, once a week, all right? I supervise my, a class once a week. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Alex. Uh, for example, in my case, um, I go to church, uh, twice uh, a week? week. Yeah, twice. Very good, Alex. Twice. Twice, because right? because I have two two days in that week. Excellent. Yes. So it's it twice. twice right? Very good. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Alex. Okay. So escriba esa antes que se me olvide y escriba otra. The one. Una con once y el otro con twice. Activities that you do. Puede ser de su de su rutina diaria o del trabajo. No importa. Two sentences. One with once and one with twice. Right now.
All right, let's see. William, can you give me your example with ones, please? Okay, teacher. I'll play soccer also. Once a week. Once a week. Very good. Okay, once. ¿verdad? Acordémonos es once. Very good. Let's see. Carlos Alfredo, tell me your example with twice, please. I go to the supermarket twice uh, per week. Okay, twice a week. A week. Twice a week. Twice a All right. Week. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Let me see. Carlita, once. Uh, once is once, verdad? Once is one, yes. Very good, once, Carla. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, once the coffee, I no. Uh, I once the coffee and they. A ver, Carlita. Sujeto. Ahorita la oración normal y el once uh -huh. lo pone al final. I drink the coffee and once a day. A day. Okay, once a day. That's okay. Very good, Carlita. Very good. Acuérdese que la time expression va al final de su oración. Blanca, can you tell me twice? And take inventory of supply or once a day. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Beatriz, what about twice? I do exercise twice a day. Okay, very good. Thank you. Oh, nice. A week. I'm <laughs> like, wow, really? <laughs> All right, very nice. Uh, let me see. Um, Norma, once. Norma? Hi. Hi. Can you tell me one sentence with once? Uh, I I supervise mm -hmm. uh, the the play, ¿cómo se dice el lugar de trabajo? The play. Uh, the work site. The work site once a week. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ana Solis. What about you? Twice. Um, sería, I drinking, I drink small greens every day. Okay, you do, you do, okay, every day. Okay, that's fine. Very good. Galileo, what about twice? I go, I go to warehouse in Lourdes, Colón twice a, a month. Twice a month. All right. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Luis Martinez, what about you? Once. Tell me your sentence with once. I go to the market once a week. Once a week. Very good. Dinora, what about twice? I make exercise twice a week. Excellent, Dinora. Very good. Edwin Balmore with once. I drink coffee once a day. Once a day. All right. That's okay. All right. So very good, guys. You have understood. Entonces, recordemos que estas time expressions, las que estamos usando ahorita, van a ir al final de mi oración. Así sea once or twice or three times or five times or ten times, siempre va a ir al final de mi oración. All right? Now, then we have every every day every i don't know every morning every evening every saturday all right i want you to think of one activity that you do every every que podría ahí puede ser lo que usted quiera si va a poner con every day or every year or every i don't know every evening every afternoon you make it solo que siempre va a ir al final de la oración okay so, for example, I can say, I teach English every day. All right, that's my sentence. Finish my sentence, okay? Think of your sentence now with every. Okay, Judith, usted me va a decir la primera. Eduardo, José Eduardo me va a decir la segunda. Usted va a ser el segundo, all right? Let me see here. Alex, you're going to be number three. Gonzalo, you're going to be number four. Elmer, you're going to be number five. And Luis Manuel, number six. 
¿verdad? Hagan sus, sus horas. Obviamente, están todos los demás, ¿verdad? Pero los demás, los que ya mencioné, me van a decir en ese orden. Teacher, solo escuché que yo iba a ser el segundo. ¿Sí? Entonces, haga una oración no, no. que usted haga, ya sea todos los días o todas las tardes o todas las mañanas o todos los viernes o todos los domingos o todas las noches o alguna actividad que usted realice. Yo ya la tengo aquí, teacher. Este Excelente. Ok, regálela. Eh, Dele, yeah. démela. Ajá. I go to, I go to church. Ajá. Huh? Um, a week, I see, or oh, week. Ah, once a week, okay, okay. You can say once a week or every week, ¿verdad? Porque va todas las semanas. Mm. O oh, solo sí. una, sí, okay. Every week, very good, Jose Eduardo, very nice. All right, <laughs> Judith, can you tell me your sentence? He copied, copied my sentence. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you did But I, 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 I put... I go to the church twice a week. <laughs> okay, all right. So, okay, all right. Very good. Uh, can you think of one activity you did that you do every, like every, I don't know? I go to bed every night. <laughs> yes, very good. You go to bed every night. Yeah. Everybody does. Thank you. Super, very good. Okay, a ver qué me faltaba. Creo que era también Luis Manuel. Me tenía que dar una. Gonzalo. A ver, Gonzalo, your sentence. Usando every. one. No, every. Every. Ajá. Ah. I got to sleep every night. Yeah, you go to sleep every night. Yes, of course. Very good. Luis Manuel, can you give me another sentence, please? I, I, um, it's with, uh, six. No, 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 just, uh, I mean, you were number six, but that's okay. Ah, okay. Uh, but, uh, for example, I play football, uh, six times, uh, on the week, uh, on the week. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. That's nice. Very good. Uh, let me see who else I was missing. Elmer, can you tell me your sentence? I go to work every day. That's right. You go to work every day. Yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Very good. Let's continue here then. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta al respecto or we are okay, guys, with the rest. ¿Estamos bien con eso? ¿Ya? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. And we need to practice more. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And we are going to. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see here. Just give me a second. Okay, so here, I'm going to present other time expressions that we can use. All right, so here we have these ones. Let me just check this one here. Okay, so here we have, ya, la, ya vimos esta de every, um, every day, every week, every month, every year. O podemos usar daily, weekly, monthly, annually. All right. En lugar de usted decir, I have a class every day, usted dice, I, like, I have classes daily. All right. Or daily. I, cuando se le pagan semanalmente por decir algo, I get paid weekly. Or no, I visit my mom monthly mensualmente, semanalmente, diariamente, anualmente. All right, daily, weekly, monthly, annually. All right. What do you mean in daily, teacher? Diariamente. Ah, okay, the, thank you. The pronunciation of uh, annually? Annually. Annually. Mm -hmm. Annually? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, Alex. Thank you. And then weekly, monthly. Okay. All right, guys. Finished? I just, I, I don't know if you were copied, but I just wanted to show you this once. Okay. Entonces, 
Obviamente, todas esta, estas time expressions que acabamos de ver, we use them in simple present. ¿verdad? Cada tiempo verbal tiene sus expresiones de tiempo diferentes. All right? En este caso, estamos hablando del simple present expressions. So we can say every day or every week, every month, every year, daily, weekly, monthly, annually. Or we can use twice, once, three times, four times, thrice. That's another one, all right, that we can also use. Y siempre las usamos al final de las oraciones, okay? All right, voy a, a mover acá. All right, guys, let's see. No questions. Do you guys have any questions about this? If you have no questions, questions, please let me know. All right. Sure. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Galileo. Daily, daily weekly, monthly, annually. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we need to, bueno, necesitamos poner la, esas palabras siempre al final también de la oración. Yes. Yep. I, for example, you say, I get paid Thanks. weekly. You don't say, get paid. Okay. All right, so you say, I get paid weekly, or I have classes daily. All right, so yeah, they go at the end, Galileo. Mm -hmm. They always go I at the end. coffee okay. daily. Yes, okay, okay. Yeah, very good. You can also say that, William. I drink coffee daily, all right? And if you drink more than once a day, then you say, I drink coffee like five times a day. I don't know. All right, if you're like, if you really love coffee, okay? Some people really love coffee and they're addicted to it. Let me just give me, give me one second. I just, just need to see something. All right. Uh, we're going to do this exercise right now. But before we do, actually, we're going to continue with the book because I want to finish that page here. And then we're going, I'm going to assign this thing that I, this exercise I have for you. All right, time expressions for regular activities. All right, es lo que les decía. Usamos estas expresiones de tiempo for simple present. That means regular activities. So we have every day, every week, every month, every year. O decimos daily, weekly, monthly. Y aquí falta el annually, que ya lo vimos en la presentación. Okay? How to use time expressions for daily activities or for a scheduled event. All right? So we have timetable here. Let's see. I just want to see something here, guys, before. Okay. So here we say, write five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job. Use the questions to interview a classmate about his or her daily activities and the time for each, uh, and the time for each, okay? So let's see. Um, okay, vamos a llenar este cuadro igual. No necesita tenerlo eh, en su manual. Si en caso no lo tiene, te lo voy a explicar. Lo, vamos a cambiar un poquito lo que vamos a hacer, pero siempre es como referente a esto, okay? So, vamos a ir a los grupos ahorita. Por ejemplo, yo estoy trabajando con Galileo y con Norma. All right. So I'm going to ask Galileo a, a Norma a question. For example, I say, okay, so um, Galileo, what do you do every day? All right. Every day. No solo es el lunes o el miércoles o el sábado. It's every day. So Galileo can say, well, I go to work every day. Okay. Then I can say, for example, Norma, how um, do you check emails? All right, la pregunta puede ser nada más, do you check emails? Y Norma me puede decir, o en la respuesta más bien, necesito que vaya una time expression. Norma podría hacer, yes, Jessica, I check emails twice a day. All right, entonces, ¿cuántas veces usted realiza la actividad que yo le pregunté? Usted lo va a depender de lo, realmente con cuántas veces realiza esa actividad, ¿ok? Yo le pregunto a Alex, Alex, I don't know, um, do you go to church? Y Alex me puede decir, I go to church twice a week, all right? Because that's what he told me, he goes to church once, uh, I mean, twice a week. Or I can ask Luis, Luis, do you go to the supermarket? Ok, como daily routines, ¿verdad? Ya sea del trabajo, se puede hacerle preguntas a sus compañeros, ya sea del trabajo, 
si llama clientes, si visita, si organiza, si supervisa, all right? O de, de los daily routines de su, del, diariamente de las actividades como más personales, si desayuna todos los días, si, I don't know, if, decía Alex, si duerme todos los días, maybe not, hay like compañeros que trabajan de noche, all right, so they can night every day, all right, because they are working, ok, entonces la idea es eh, pensar en tres, eh, vamos a pensar cada uno tres preguntas, all right, que vamos a hacer a los compañeros y, y cuando usted responda, el que responde si sí necesito que me practique las time expressions, ok, no solo por ejemplo le voy a decir Alex, do you go to church? y Alex me va a decir yes, I go to church, o yes, I do, ajá, pero en la respuesta de Alex tiene que decir, yes, Jessica, I go to church twice a week. Right, necesito escuchar esa time expression, independientemente sea every, daily, once, como usted quiera. Pero la respuesta debe llevar una time expression. Las preguntas son más libres. Solo, do you, I don't know, do you check your email? Do you visit clients? Or do you go to the supermarket? Do you play soccer? Como usted quiera. Ok, tres. Entonces, si estoy trabajando con Galileo y Normal, yo le hago a Galileo, le, pregunto, le hago tres preguntas, Galileo le hace a Norma las tres preguntas y Norma me hace las tres preguntas a mí. Cada respuesta tiene que llevar una time expression, ¿ok? ¿Yes? Vaya apuntando porque cuando regresemos voy a preguntar a Galileo qué le preguntó a Norma y qué le contestó Norma, ¿verdad? Para que me reporte en tercera persona singular. Norma checks her email twice a day. ¿verdad? Así que vaya tomando nota ahí. Teacher. Yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, a cada momento. For example, I check my phone uh, a cada momento. Like every minute. <laughs> every minute. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you, Manuel. Very good. Let's go. Vemos tía, gracias por venir. Vemos Camilita.
en esta se podría decir Luis Cook three times daily. Yes, yes, three times daily, diariamente. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or three times every day. Or three times every day. It's the same. Okay. I could. Creo que faltó uno para preguntarte a ti, Luis. Era de Do you exercise? Yes, I am. I am exercising every day. One hour every day. <laughs> exercise. Every day. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Dinora. Yes. Okay, Dinora. Uh, what do you do? Do you do? Um, at work. I check do my do? email. Okay. Check my emails every day. Are you guys done? Yes, finish. Okay. So everybody asked everybody, Luis asked someone and then Dinora, you asked someone else? Yes, teacher. Very good, guys. Good job. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back then. All right, guys. Did you get a chance to ask everybody? Yeah? 
So so yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Very Maybe. Nice. Awesome. Maybe but... All right, very good. Elmer, who were you working with, Elmer? I working for the Luis. With Luis Manuel or Luis Luis Martinez? Uh, Luis Manuel. Okay, very good. Only with Luis Manuel. Yeah, only. All right, that's okay. Very good. So, Elmer, what was one of your questions that came? Like, what was the question that you asked, Luis Manuel? And um, I, I asked the question: It, what time do you do you practice play soccer? Okay, so what time or like when does he practice soccer? Uh huh, Luis Manuel. And what was your answer? I practice. Uh, I play soccer. Uh, Every weekend. Every weekend. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Luis Manuel, can, can you ask a question to Elmer, please? Uh, Elmer, uh, what do you... Uh, the, the, the same question, teacher. Oh, the same uh, question. Before, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, how frequently uh, do you practice exercise? Okay. And what was Elmer's response? Aha, uh -huh, Elmer? Elmer, what was your response, Elmer? Oh, he's busy right now. That's okay. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, teacher, because I received the turn. Uh, I, I don't listen you ask a question for me, the Luis. He and says how, how, time, uh -huh. how how time do you practice exercise? Ah, okay. I practice the exercise the 10 uh 12 minutes and um, three days a week. Okay, all right, very yes. good. All right, thank you. Blanca, who are you working with? Uh Carla. Oh, okay. Okay. One one day weekend. Um, uh huh. I think I can That's okay. Sorry. Uh, please repeat. How many times do you go shopping? Ay, no, pero me, me perdí. No sé por qué ya me entiendo. ¿Cuántas veces se va a comprar? Ah, ay, <laughs> God, de, 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 ya no me remember. Ya no me remember. la semana. Ah, uh, once the, the weekend. Once, a, okay, okay, very good, thank you. All right, Alex, who were you working with, Alex? Okay, my, my, my question is, is Edwin. Okay. My, my question is, uh, what you do is the activity daily? Oh, okay. He, him say me, um, he check your email every day. Okay. And, and sends report five times a week. Oh, okay, very good, Edwin. Okay, very good, Alex. Okay, so he sends reports. Okay, very good. Thank you. That's right. Nice, very good. Galileo, who were you working with? With Carlos Alfredo, right? I work with Carlos Alfredo and, and William. William. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I asked uh, to William, what do you do in your office every day? Okay. William? I think he's not available right now. It's missing. I think yeah. it's missing. Okay. Okay, that's Carol, fine. Carol, Carol. What do you do? Uh, oh, do you attend clients, Carlos? Oh, yes. I attend clients uh, daily. Okay. His answer was he attends clients daily. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Luis Martinez, who were you working with, Luis? Hi, Carlos Aguilora. Okay. Carlos, my question is what, uh, how many times you are uh, exercising the weekend? Carlos. Uh, I play soccer three times, tw twice a week. Twice a week, all right, very good, okay. All right, and Dinora? Um, Carlos, can you ask a question to Dinora? Dinora, do you cook? <laughs> e yeah, I cook uh, twice a weekend. Okay, twice, okay, twice in, okay, during the weekend. All right, that's very good, very good. Uh, let me see here. Um, Norma, Norma, who did you work with? Um, no me acuerdo el nombre. <laughs> uh, Eduardo. Ah, ¿cómo se llama Eduardo? Uh -huh. eh, one question. Do you check the emails? Eh, yes. He check the emails every day. Okay. All right. So, so he checks emails every day. Very good. All right, guys. Very good. So here, let me just take you back to the book, uh, to the book here. Just give me a second. All right. So pretty much what we have we what we had to do today was to talk about daily um, or expressions of um, of um, time. All right, time expressions about regular activities. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap it up saying that we need to remember that we can use every day, we can say every week, or we can say every month, every year. You can also say every class, for example. If you say, I, ha I practice every class, okay? Or I don't know, in every meeting, I, partic I participate in every meeting, all right? So the every, you can switch it to other um not necessarily like time expressions but things that you do like regularly all right so remember that these expressions all of the ones that we saw today including daily weekly monthly annually they go at the end of your sentence okay the same thing happens with once twice all right as I said, existe la palabra thrice, pero no es muy conocida, pero sí existe para decir tres veces. Podemos decir once, twice, thrice. ¿Ok? O si usted se siente más cómodo diciendo three times, ya de tres para allá podemos decir three times, five times, eight times, seven times. Independientemente, it has to go at the end of your sentence. ¿Ok? Do you guys have any questions? we saw today about time expressions or estamos bien con eso. Recuerde que son time expressions del presente simple, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo digo, Judith, I don't know, checks her email every day, entonces el verbo no tiene que llevarle cambio, ¿verdad? Judith uh, sends or checks her email every day. No importa si estoy usando la time expression que vaya, o que corresponda, pero el verbo necesita llevar ese, ese, ese cambio en tercera persona singular porque son afirmativas, all right? O I say, Elmer, I don't know, Elmer plays soccer once a month, all right? No importa el, la, la time expression que yo use, el verbo en tercera persona debe ir con el cambio que corresponde, all right? Ok, guys, voy a tomar la asistencia de la última eh, hora. All right, Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. 
Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Eh, Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Thank you. Uh, Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Norma Lisa Quintana Mancía. Present teacher. Olga, eh, Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ana Karina Cruz García. And Ana Karina Solís López. Presente. All right, thank you, Ana. Very good. Okay, ayer se quedó Ana conmigo, Ana Beatriz, porque Alex Humberto no logró, eh, no estuvo con nosotros. Entonces, Alex, no sé si se puede quedar un par de minutitos ahorita para hacer los 10 minutitos de ayuda eh, que le corresponde en el mes. Alex. Ok. Thank you. All right, guys. Al resto los veo mañana. Thank you so much. Es de terminar la tarea 2 para que no se le vaya acumulando nada. All right. Thank you, guys. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Una pregunta Dígame. antes de que se retirarme. Eh, como ayer yo estuve con otro grupo. Sí. Por eso no llené la tarea ahora. La puedo llenar y no hay ningún problema. Sí, no, no hay ningún problema, Luis. No, adelante, llénela. Ok. Thank sí. you, teacher. Thank you, Luis. I'll good see you tomorrow. Yeah, good night to you too. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, Anna. Bye, Beatriz. Bye, bye, Pedro. Bye. Have a great night. So, Alex, how are you today, Alex? I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Alex, you were not able to get in yesterday, right? No, because I, I don't, uh, I, I don't, I don't can get connection with that, with that group. Ah, okay. All right. That's okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, every 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 uh, everybody connection, uh, but, but the, the teacher, teacher no no connection. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Very good, Alex. I don't know if you have any questions about simple present, Alex, that you want me to help you with. Um, I don't have nothing in the, the class of the yesterday, teacher. Okay, all right, very good. Eh, eh, I'm just going to say this in Spanish. ¿Cómo se siente con el presente simple, Alex? Eh, ¿Lo entiende bien? ¿O hay algo que necesita que yo le pueda reforzar en estos par de minutitos? Eh, bueno, el presente simple, por ejemplo, es el eh, que no lleva modificaciones, ¿no? Por ejemplo, I, I study, eh, I swimming, I... Clean, uh, ok. Sí. Ese es, es el, el simple. El presente simple. Con, presente simple, ajá. En este caso con I, ¿verdad? Y con, cuando hablamos de I, you, we, they, el verbo no cambia, no lleva no ningún cambia. cambio. Así es. Exacto. Pero si es, aún es presente simple con he, she, it, ¿verdad? Con ellos sí cambia. He, she, it, ajá. Entonces yo, por ejemplo, yeah. digo she swims, ¿verdad? O he eats. Eh, o it plays, ¿verdad? Entonces siempre hay que agregarle la S o la e S, o IES que corresponde dependiendo cómo termina el verbo, ¿verdad? Ese cambio va a pasar nada más, Alex, en oraciones afirmativas. En oraciones afirmativas, ok. Siempre en presente simple, ¿verdad? En negativo ya no cambia nada porque vamos el auxiliar DASEN. Para las terceras personas singulares. Para terceras, he, she, it, correcto. Entonces, por eso el verbo ya no lleva ningún cambio, porque el doesn't omite el cambio, ¿verdad? Igual que en las preguntas. En las sí. preguntas Ahora, eso ya, es? tanto, pero el, el, el agregarle la S también, este, hay, hay también, este, hay casos en los cuales no, no se debe, por ejemplo, cuando termina en consonante o en vocal, ¿no? Es... Siempre va a llevar un cambio, solo que si termina, por ejemplo, en la consonante X o doble S o CH o SH, Ajá. no solo le agrega S, sino que ES. 
Es, exacto. Ajá. Por ejemplo, go, ¿verdad? Como termina en o, entonces yo digo he, go, exacto, ah, ajá, go. Sí, muy bien, igual ah. que el do, como verbo pasa a ser that. Él hace la tarea, he does his homework, ¿verdad? Entonces termina con ah, es. Ah. Y si el verbo termina en y, pero antes de la y va una consonante, entonces quito la y y pongo ies. Por ejemplo, study. Por ejemplo, yo quiero decir una oración, teacher. Este, sí. Yo, por ejemplo, yo, yo limpio, quiero decir, yo, yo limpio aquello o yo limpio sí. eso. O sea, si yo, yo uso solamente I clean that, por ejemplo, sí. no, no se escucha como yo limpiar eso. No, no, no. No, no. es que tenía no. esa duda. Si yo, si yo uso eso, o sea, voy a, me, me voy a escuchar como cuando viene el gringo y dice, oh, yo limpiar <risa> yo aquello, o puedo hacer aquello. Yo comer pupusas. Uh, no, 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 ahí lo está, lo está conjugando, de hecho, Alex. Entonces, sí se traduce como yo limpio la mesa, por decir algo. I ajá, clean ajá. the table, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Ese es el simple, ¿verdad? Sí, ese es el simple. simple, exacto. Sí. Y ah, cuando usted sí. lo traduce, tradúzcalo como, no como gringo mal hablando, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sino bueno. que como, pues así nos escuchamos ¿eh? nosotros también. Sí, no, pero usted en ese caso, si usted dice, I clean the table, usted está diciendo, yo limpio la mesa. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que su, pareciera que es como limpi, yo limpiar la mesa porque pareciera infinitivo, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos tú clean, ese es el infinitivo y ahí sí no va conjugado. ¿verdad? Nada más es limpiar. Porque Ajá. va el clean acompañado del tú. To. to clean es el verbo en infinitivo y la traducción exacta sería limpiar. Pero cuando yo agarro to clean y lo paso a la oración con I clean the table, ya lo estoy conjugando como cuando uno dice yo limpio la mesa. Ajá. Y si yo digo tú, lim o limpia tú limpias esa mesa, ya, ya le uso el tú, to, to clean. No, no. No, no, porque si, si le ponen tu clean, entonces sí, ahí se está diciendo tú limpiar la mesa. Ajá. Ajá, entonces quítale el tú. Igual, el como, clean, como, exacto, como hay. La, exactamente, hay sí. Ah, ok, ajá. Sí, es, eso es lo, lo que sí, este, tenía un poco de, de, de duda. Más sí, que todo, ¿no? para, para, para agregar esa, esa, agregar o quitar la letra, no va a escuchar mal. No, 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 de hecho no. así tendría que ser, ¿verdad? Y lo mismo con las terceras es nada más agregarle esa S o S que le Sí, solo de tener en cuenta la, la, esa, esas, como esas este, normas, pues. Exacto, de que, sí. De hecho, en tal es caso lo... usar y en tal es caso no usarlo. Exactamente. De hecho, todo lo que falta, los tres días que nos faltan, vamos a seguir repasando un poco el presente simple, ¿verdad? Porque así nos, nos toca hacerlo. Entonces, también eso le va a ayudar para como agarrar la práctica y tener como más claro y tener Ay. la seguridad de que no estamos haciéndolo así como, como no conjugando bien el verbo. No con, ajá, esto, ajá, eso, no conjugando. Very good. Sí, sí, eso es más que todo, teacher, ¿eh? por demás, pues ahí vamos. Muy bien, perfecto. Aquí estamos ajá. a la orden cualquier cosa. Oye. Ok, teacher, Very thank good. you. Gracias por quedarse un par de minutitos. Lo dejo descansar. I'll see you tomorrow, ok? I see you, teacher. Thank Happy you. good night. Yeah, you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye.